I believe we found some games. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. Guys, we're about to head to an amazing flea market. The last time we went to this particular flea market, we absolutely destroyed it. We found my Street Fighter bank. Guys, this thing is from the 90s. It is beautiful, and the thing works. We also found DuckTales books, uh, some more toys. So go check out that episode. I will uh, put a card right up here if you missed that one. Uh, it was an amazing trip, and, and this week is no different. We find some incredible things, guys. Something that I had been looking for for about 30 years, and today, we finally tracked one down for a, a great price. Guys, we're about to get right into that footage. But before we do, if you love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos. Let's get into it. of cool vintage toys, but they all look pretty priced. Six dollars for Snoopy. Just a bunch of other ones. Oh, there is Ninja Fighter and Mini Golf. This one is 12, not too bad. Oh, oh that's cool. Yeah, these are all awesome, but I mean, 20 bucks, not doing it, man. Look at that G.I. Joe lunch, lunch box. Nope, don't put even on it. Hopefully the whole flea market isn't like this, but man, this person has great taste. Look at all this retro goodness. Cool booth, but not priced for us. Yeah, so this um, flea market has a lot of these booths that you know have these big glass cases so people don't steal stuff. But the problem is anytime you're interested in anything, you have to go up front and asked to you know get the key or i guess you don't get the key they, they have to open it up and it's just kind of an ordeal here's an old ronald class figure or something i know it's weird but i like i like ronald stuff it's just crazy nostalgic for me this is where i found my uh my ducktales books at one point i think i got three or four from here a couple years ago All right, I actually came here, I think it's been about a year or so, and I've ever seen this big Red Bull fridge that looks like a gas, uh, not a gas can, gas tank, but a gas pump. Let me see if I can get over closer to it. Yeah, that thing is just super rad. It's like all chromed out, $575. That's actually probably not bad to have that in your man cave or something. It's pretty sweet. Here's a laser tag game. Dude, who remembers when laser tag came out? It's groundbreaking. And then the laser tag, like actual buildings, where you can go like have your birthday party at a freaking laser tag place. Oh, look who it is. It's Vince. Oh, no, 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 Vince's face! Yeah. Yeah. Somebody probably wants that. Oh. I believe we found some games. Please be priced reasonably. Guys, this right here is a good one. What are you priced? Does that say 70? Holy crap! Is that $70? No. I guess we'll be able to tell Dark Cloud. This probably retails for around eight, 10. Yeah, well, that's terrible. I bet this is probably 25 then. Final Fantasy Seven. 10. Actually, that's not terrible. We already have it. But my lord, that's crazy. My city, five. Dang. That's a bummer, man. I thought we were about to score. Here's Buffy. Buffy is 20. So they're about in 
in line with how much stuff is, which makes me immediately not want to look anymore. So, 70 for Silent L2. Good Lord. Some old comics, Black Panther. I'm not saying I'm not ever gonna get into comics because I really do think these look awesome. The problem is always space. $70 for Silent Hill. No. Little Star Wars figures. Whoa. That's a scary C-3PO. That's cool. Old Darth Vader clock. I'm sure this is from the 90s or something. 1995. 20% off of 30. Not terrible. Kiss. What the heck is this thing? Panasonic Ranger. That's cool. Oh man. Did you guys have a, a Viewmaster? These are the little slides for the Viewmaster. Oh wow, that's cool. Rescuers. I like collecting weird stuff like this. I don't need any of those, but pretty cool. I really, really thought we were about to score on Silent Hill. You would think something like that would be like behind a case or something. $70 for a game? Jeez Louise. I think I know what these are. Here we are again. The Flintstone mugs, 150. They're getting cheaper, guys. I have all of these already, or I would totally pick those up. Here's more bottles, guys. At least these don't have the actual soda in them. What the heck? What kind of beanie baby things are these? Beanie kids? I've never seen that before. That's cool. Holy cow. That's a huge Emperor Zerg, man. So, we meet again, Buzz Lightyear. I mean, I've seen the big Buzz before, but I've never seen this Zerg. How much is this? 18? That's not bad, man. I might have to come back and get him. I love that. That's a great shelf piece right there. I already have the big Buzz, so you might be coming home with me, man. I see entirely too much Star Trek stuff because it's worthless. Nobody wants like this. It's brand new, sealed, 350. Nobody wants it. Oh, there's an old Lion King folding chair. $1.50. Oh, that looks like a good booth. We'll come back to that one. Or should we just go for it? Mm, let's come back. I love this album. Such a great album. What the heck is this guy? You're not allowed near me, sir. Oh, some good old Beetle Bailey. He's a funny man. What is hot dog? Oh, whoa. Look at Drew Barrymore. This is like E.T. Well, there it is. E.T.'s favorite girl. That's pretty cool, man. One buck? I don't care enough, but pretty cool, man. I'm still looking for some old Nintendo powers. I'd never, ever come across them. All right, come on. There's Barney. I watched a lot of Andy Griffith with my pops back in the day. Mm, that's cool. I like when they do this for like DVD sets. They make little special cases for them. The home improvement one that I want is uh, the whole series of home improvement in a toolbox. It's pretty cool. Guys, one of my favorite movies from back in the day. Bill and Ted. Great movie. Still haven't seen the new one. Whoa, what is this? 
This is a Hulk. An amazing Spider-Man light-up drawing desk. What? Does it give me a picture? Here's a, here's a small picture of it up here. Okay, that's cool. I just really like the artwork on it. I don't know if it's on there or not, but I'm assuming for 20 bucks, it's not too bad. That's pretty cool. Oh, here's some more Cabbage Patch kids, but they're in the box, man. Whoa, 120 freaking bucks. I didn't know those were valuable. Christmas sale, 50% off, excluding firm, okay. Just some old thermoses. Or no, it's not. It just looks like it. That threw me off. Hey look, here's a viewfinder. We just need to get the little slides now from the other other booth. Oh wow. <laughs> I had these glasses when I was a kid. That picture and those glasses. We had those. Whoa. I got so excited that I missed this terrifying Mickey. What happened to your face, man? Lenticular picture. It's a bunch of old stuff. I broke something. Oh, it's a candy cane. Always good to see some Garfield. All right, let's dig into this. Uh, cool looking booth like right there there's a a bug's life watch for five dollars sealed that's kind of cool uh and they are having a sale 25 percent off 10 and up that's not bad so i guess if we spend ten dollars or is it the item has to be over ten dollars i'm not sure the bug's life watch just isn't quite cool enough for me to get though <laughs> look at all that stuff man this thing is packed. We've got to find something. My dad actually sells Eminem stuff. He bought like a huge um, like auction lot of Eminem items and he sold them all. Guys, look at this. The Energizer Bunny. Why? Because no battery lasts longer than Energizer. It's kind of cool. 1997. Jack Osborne keychain. Don't think it needs to be a thing. I'm actually surprised we haven't found anything yet. Oh, that's cool. Look at this Pete. Is it like a peg leg Pete wooden statue? That almost looks folk arty, like someone made that. Oh, look at this Ronald glass. This is the one we found a couple episodes ago, but this thing's got a lot of color. I might get this. I really like that because it's 25% off of that. $7.50 is not bad on that. Then here is the Hamburglar. See, this one has lost its color some. Still cool though. Here is an Atari 2600 boxed. And then some games. That's so annoying. I guess I've got to go up front to get someone to open this and I'm just not going to do it. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what is that? Double Dare game. Craziest game show on TV, Double Dare! <sighs> Guys, I love Double Dare. I'm gonna give this a better look. This is wacky, man. That's so cool. I mean, it's missing the goggles though. I can't pull the trigger on it because it doesn't doesn't have the goggles but you can tell I'm thinking about it that's cool I'll actually like this ET 15 Ooh, I might get him so what happens is I have to remember all the stuff that I want to get and then I have to make my make my round again look at that crane that is amazing how much is that and oh the big turtle man I have Raf I don't have that one Oh, this is a great, this is a great booth. But I can't tell how much Krang is because he's turned around. Here's a new Rock'em Sock'em. Yeah, I mean, look, he's 12, he's 20. I bet 
I bet those are like 40 or 50 bucks. I might get that ET though. I really do like that. I would get the Double Dare game if it was complete. And they are just stocked up on Furbies, man. Bunch of lunch boxes. How much is a lunch box? 20. That's not bad. Days of Thunder one. Amazing Spider-Man. Just the thermos. There's Mario. Uh-oh. Riff would like this. There is a Dick Tracy lunchbox down there. And Benji. And here is Clifford. Looney Tunes. And I'm gonna dig. Another Dick Tracy. Like, who likes Dick Tracy stuff? Only Riff, nobody else. Where does this person get all this stuff? This is great stuff. Shredder's 12. 20 bucks for that one. Those almost look bigger than the original, but I think I'm being crazy. That's scary. Fairly certain I'm gonna get the vintage ET figure. Kinda want the Ronald glass. And then Emperor Zerg is still on my, on my brain. Oh wait, here's actually some video game stuff. There is an N64. Don't know how much it is, but it's behind the case. Here it is Ren and Stimpy Dorbs. What is that? Well, guys, look. Here is the same bank that I found a couple episodes ago, and we paid 10, I believe. And he is, y'all, he's 850. He's cheaper. Dang. I would not have thought I would ever find that again, let alone find it cheaper. That's crazy. That's actually a really good piece for the booth. Jeez, there's so much. Look at all the toys. Wait, 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 wait. Look at this. Roger Rabbit. 25 inch figure. Plush. That's cool. Guys, this is all the stuff that I love. I just wish it was cheaper. Here's some more lunch boxes, but these look older because they're actually 10. Look at that, 1982 Ronald lunchbox for 35, 25. They've marked it down to 25. Here's a Knight Rider one. Old Marvel one, 1976. This really is a great flea market. It's just, it's more antique -y, antique market because prices are so high. We keep finding Ziggy items. How much is he? 350 for the Ziggy doll. It's actually not bad. She made noise or something. It's a Simpsons car. Here's some more Shaq figures. This one is 10. It's a little bit more than last time we saw that one. I think it was like six. There's another ET thing. ET, ET card game complete. Guys, it might be an ET kind of day. Whoa. Look at this Fred, plastic Fred Flintstone. I can't tell. Oh, I can't tell. Six bucks though. I just have no interest in collecting Hot Wheel stuff, even if it is like stuff that I like. Like Pete, that's cool. But I mean, where does it end, man? I can't imagine how many different Hot Wheels cars there are. Like there's a Rex from Toy Story, an alien. Just not my thing. Okay, yes, I think, I think I'm mostly done. I'm gonna look up a couple things and see how much some of this stuff is worth. I, I really wanna know about that. Those Team and T big figures. If they're like within 25 or so, I'm definitely gonna get them, but I'm assuming that they're not, especially since that they're behind the case, but I will update you shortly. Hmm. 
Okay, I'll take him. And then there's two turtle things down in this bottom one I'd like to look at. Big turtles down there. Let me see how much they were. 55. Hmm. Let me look at this guy too. How much does he say? 55. 55. Does it say for five dollar discount with cash or check? Okay. Um Five. Mercy. Do I really need him? Dollar discount check. I don't got any checks on me. Okay, guys, I told you that this flea market is amazing. Do I wish the prices were a little bit cheaper? Of course I do, but I still think we found some pretty sweet items at a fair deal. So the first thing we got is this E.T. figure. Guys, I cannot even tell you how much I love the E.T. movie. I've watched this thing over and over and over again and this is exactly the type of thing I am out on the hunt for. Now I I've never seen this before, I didn't know I was looking for this until I saw it and I knew that I had to have this thing. He is amazing, I love how blue his eyes are, I'd say he's probably 5 to 6 inches in height and, and he's amazing. Uh, I love to take pictures uh, on Instagram, basically what I'll do is I'll take a movie, uh, a toy and a game and put it all together to create a, a nostalgic shot and this this is perfect. A perfect item to do that and he's going to go great on the shelf. Uh, and then also we got an E.T. card game. This is also from the 80s and it looks very simple. Not a lot to it. Uh, and I don't know if it's like a matching game. I'm not sure what exactly you do but the instructions are in there so that is good and it is complete. There had a little note in it that said it was complete so Two E.T. vintage pieces. I don't ever see E.T. stuff very often, but it was cool to pick up this as well. Okay, and our last piece is something that I have been looking for forever. You guys know I'm a huge TMNT fan, and I have been wanting this for so long. So I've never been like the guy that just loves the villains in TV shows or movies. But for some reason, I love the bad dudes on TMNT. I love Toka, Razor. I love Bebop, Rocksteady, and the king. The king is Krang. Nothing can stop the almighty Krang. And here is the Krang body. So no Krang brain. That's hard to say. No Krang brain, but the, the android body. Now, I have seen these go complete for anywhere from like 125 and up, and I am not paying that. So I saw this, and at first I was like, man, if I could get this for like 20 or 30, that would be a great deal. I looked up on eBay and they actually sell for a little bit more than that. So uh, I upped I upped my budget and when I saw, I think it was $55, I thought about it for a minute and I was like, no, I gotta get him. He's amazing. He's gonna go awesome on the shelf. Now, he's not complete and there was, there's no crane brain, but I got on eBay immediately and I picked one up. So this was listed for $9.99 and it was a best offer situation. I threw out $6.99 and they took it, uh, and now I have a somewhat complete, he's not complete, but somewhat complete uh, Krang with the android body and the actual brain. Guys, I love this thing so much. Uh, I'm gonna have to find room for him for sure. Uh, I always wanted this, and I also wanted the Technodrome. Guys, I wanted the Technodrome so bad, but I was so stoked to pick this up. Guys, tell me uh, your favorite thing. Was it either the ET stuff or was it Krang? Are you a TMNT fan as well? As always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would like the video, subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, peace.